Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it is November 5th, 2016th, episode number five. On today's show, we have our friend Chris Hernandez, who was a candidate for Texas State Representative District 126. Being election day coming around in the next couple of days, we're going to you know do a little interview with him. <clears throat> he knows more about politics than we do. And we're also going to review um, the new movie Ghostbusters, so stay tuned. Hey, welcome back, guys. This is the uh, Gentleman No Class Podcast. I am Jake. Paul. Uh, Ralph. And Chris Hernandez. And Chris Hernandez, our, our guest for today, um, on today's show. Um, we known Chris back, actually, years back um, with Paul and I um, since high school. And he got into politics. And, you know, Election Day being like three days away, we decided, oh, Chris will be a perfect candidate to... You know, bring on as guests to the two people that listen to this show, because Rap doesn't listen to it, just Paul and I. Chris I, vaguely I listens to it. I tell you I listen to it, but it doesn't mean I actually do listen to it, but cool, man. I tried to promote it. I tried to do what I could. No, I, I really it. like it. I, I thought it was great, so I, I just haven't had time to continue, but I love it. Yeah, oh, it's great. sound very yeah, genuine. Yeah. I appreciate well, it, Chris. I like it. I like it. Because I know you're full of shit. <laughs> that's, that's true. I am brown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Be alive. Oh, yeah. Be alive. <laughs> I am alive here. Well, what are you doing? You can't fiddle faddle on the phone. I'm, I'm allowed to do that. I'm I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to get my notes my here. Turn, Chris you know? is trying to do that, too. My notes. Yeah, well, my notes. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm trying to figure out, Chris, Dan we need to first guys. meet Paul. Um, I think you, you and Paul. You, Paul uh, yeah, Paul I was trying to think about that too earlier. I Honestly, I don't. I I just kind of feel like it was it was the Lewis Will thing. Yeah, and, that's what uh, I was trying to say to them. You know, we were we were all just you know nerds uh, essentially, and then um, <laughs> <laughs> nerds would me be, be thinking you know, would 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 uh, be but, con- um, yeah, yeah but having smart higher nerds. I want thinking. you to remember that this a is loser more, yeah, is what I prefer, yeah. <laughs> not outcast or nerd. No. That being said, no, I really can't recall. I, I really can't tell either. you a grade. I would just don't. Kinda... Well, the only thing I was thinking is like, I don't. Stephen Caceres. I, 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 uh, Stephen Caceres. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to immediately bring up the Fast and the Furious movie. So let's. Just... Okay, we don't have to go through that. <laughs> Spiky hair. I didn't say anything about that. I was just saying I, I was just trying to think of it through him, through a friend of yeah, mine. You know, I mean, I think it, it might have been in high school. You, you know, it was definitely through Will and Lewis. I think for yeah. me, and you know, there's parties out there, and you know, you know, fun nights, and that um, was probably during the time. I, I don't know exactly a date or a time. You know, it's just probably you know, yeah, it just happened. It, it just happened. Well, and, that's you know, I think that's what most of any of my friendships in high school is just kind of like boom, everybody was there and. I don't recall a time y'all weren't really. <laughs> no, I hear that. Yeah, might yeah, just yeah. been a lot of alcohol and, and yeah. uh, marijuana. A lot, lot of booze. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what am I trying to say here? Don't worry. That's like politics. Nobody knows what they're trying to say. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, man. <laughs> um, so we know that you, you know you you're running for uh, what well, you were running for uh, Texas State Representative for District 126, correct? Yep. yep. And now you are the uh, campaign manager. Mm-hmm. For uh, Michael Sean Kelly out in Michael District Sean 150, Kelly. it's a neighboring district to, okay. uh, to my district. So. Okay, cool, cool. Because yeah. you were over there, your district uh, construed to like Jones Road area, Cypress area, yeah. Cypress yeah, Wood area. Well, yeah, Cypress Wood goes north almost to Tomball. Okay, cool. Um, almost well, the, I think almost the line is Kirkendall, and then uh, then you skip over into District 150. So nice, nice Kirkendall. That's a- Freaking hard name to spell. Yeah, you tell me how to spell Kirkendall. I would not, is that I would not be able to it? pronounce it. Kukendall. Or spell it. Is that how you pronounce it? I always pronounce it. I Kirkendall. think you're fucking lying. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay, that's Kukendall. why you go eat it. <laughs> Kukendall. Don't feel bad though, because everything over there, there's these German people, and they ex- they immediately try to explain Man. everything I've been saying. Strack. There's like a Strack road. It's Strack. Strack. Ah. 
Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. I'll correct them next time. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm appropriating cultures. Be <laughs> right, right. Because then we're all fucked and it'd just be a, uh, you know, let's not get into that. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Cool. So, uh, Chris, all these years knowing you, I never really was aware that you're, you're into politics. And out of nowhere, it's like, bam, you got into politics. So how did you really get into it? Um, well, you were probably one of the luckiest people ever because you didn't hear my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I did. No, I do know. Sure everybody, everybody, I was no, I mean, unlucky. No, no, I know. I do I know. To hear it. No, I do know that you know at the parties and stuff. You knew yeah. your shit, man. And like this guy, I was always going like Nandez, twenty twelve, Nandez, fucking two thousand eight. You know, I would still say Hernandez 2016 right now, you know, but um, I, I mean, because I know in the conversations, you, you, you knew a lot about, your, you know, everything, but um, didn't, you know, how did you really get into politics, you know, besides? Um, well, it started off with my dad. Um, I went to a lot of protests when I was a kid, and so it was like fighting the good fight. You know, we were out there marching in the street and, yeah. you know, a bunch of hippies. Um <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have long hair and I couldn't grow it. So it didn't really happen. And, uh, you know, I didn't wear Birkenstocks or anything like that. But, no, that's what started it. And then um, uh, kept going with it. And uh, it morphed from pretty much um, just yelling and hooting and hollering to basically, well, what the hell are we going to do to, to move, uh, you know, move the levers of power? And mm-hmm. that's kind of when I started getting a little bit more involved on a mm-hmm. – Kind of deeper level, I guess. Nice, nice. So as boring as that sounds, to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. If you've that. turned your shit off by now, I can't blame you. No, no. no. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you turn it off? <laughs> but um. So I mean, at what what point in your life, like how old were you when you're like, okay, because you say it was with your dad, it was it like early childhood type deal, or was well, it like... early childhood stuff was yeah with my grandma and, and you know she used to be an election judge and just all that good stuff. So yeah, they got me involved at a young age, and then nice, um, and then I would say when I really became like an activist, I would say maybe fifteen, sixteen, and that was right around the time all the stuff was picking up with Bush and. Um, all of us were getting ready to get shipped yeah. off, you know, when the nine eleven happened, and hell, we were all in JV when it happened. I remember when they're wheeling the TV that. in, and we're yeah. watching the buildings pretty much, you know, uh, being on, you know, on fire and planes hitting it. So I mean, you know, I I kind of already was pretty, you know, uh, in tune with a lot of stuff that was going on. So it was uh, for me, it was more or less like, okay, all the shit that I've been reading, it's it's going to happen. Like mm. now, it's now it's real, you know. So. Yeah, that was. I mean, it, it, it was scary times. It really was. Um, hell, it still is. But yeah, yeah. That, uh, serious question: What was your first shady political move? First shady? No, <laughs> or, really, that's or a political great question. activist? <laughs> no, that's a great question. What was, I want it to be real. Where did? Where did? No, really. Where did I finally have my like? Oh, I'm just. I, I have to be immoral to win. Um, <laughs> oh, well, this it was just a joke. Uh, no, 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 no it's real, real. No, no, good. This is something no, good. I think. Um, I think. I for me, I think a lot of what happened when I when I realized, you know, how you have to message things to people. There's a certain way you have to package things. Um, oh yeah. If you're not going to be willing to kind of obscure <laughs> some things <laughs> um, to get people to pay attention to you, then I mean, you're you're really just never going to be successful. And right. someone's going to automatically be like, well, you know, you're just a fucking liar. It, it's, it's got a little bit more finesse than that. I just want to defend it <laughs> just a little yeah. bit Damn. with finesse. But, um, but I think that, yeah, that, that for me is kind of that transition from just it has to be pure, it has to be this way, or you're, you know, you're a terrible person. No, it was when I was like, okay, do, do we really want to move the ball forward? Okay, I'm willing to make some concessions to make it sound good so that way we can get people to pay attention to what we're saying no that ah, makes sense, that so makes sense. It's, it's just like it, you know, if you think about pragmatic. it pragmatic mm. you can relate that to you know because you know doing a campaign is, it, it's a lot like customer service if you think about it you want to win these yeah. voters you yeah. know so working for customer service you have to, when when the problem arises, you have to kind of give the customer what they want to hear yeah. to avoid problems. And, right. and you got to um, word it correctly, exactly. Because yeah. if you word it wrong, it's going to be like, oh, wait, wait yeah. Because what? you're going to, and the thing is, you're going to start more trouble than you. I mean, yeah. you, the situation. Put it this way: most of the time, politics, unfortunately, you're already there's it's adversarial. There's already someone who already doesn't want to hear your shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you got you have to approach them in a way that they're going to pay attention. So. I think in a lot of ways you're trying to package it and I think customer service is a really great way of, of putting it because a lot of times when you're trying to bring solutions to people, you want it to be their idea, right? Yeah. 
You don't want it to be what you're telling them. You want them to come to that conclusion, like for them to make it feel like it's their own. Yeah, right? that is that, oh, that is spot on. Man, right there. I, I so basically what we're all saying here, we're all in denial and disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> and then, in other words, I don't have to change a goddamn thing because I'm already there. Yeah. <laughs> I, that makes it a whole hell of a lot easier right. for me because. Oh, my fucking God. I mean, it, it's, just, it's just this game we all fucking play. And like, you know, it, oh, is. No, it, it is. It's life. It, yeah. That's crazy. It is. Because I mean, we all know one way or another that a lot of things are full of shit, but we buy it. We buy into it. Yeah. Oh, that's how you man. advance, man. I, it's fucked up. It I, 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 that advance. makes me sick to my stomach, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, know, I know that's how it is, but no, I, I don't, don't like doing that. I, but. I think you, you even look at, you look at how... I guess what's the transition from your 20s to your 30s? I think for me, one of the biggest things is just to realize you are where you are, right? Yeah. You're not yeah. going to accept it and you're not going to try to find some way to make some peace about it. Then, yeah. you know, you're going to be, you're going to be inside of a bottle and it's going to be yeah. 38 years old. <laughs> That's you know? true. You're going to be the guy on the, on the, was it the Loteria thing? You know? Oh God. But, <laughs> you're going to be that guy. So my if mom, that's what, if my that's what you want, I mean, I'm just, I'm just my mom that. calls me that. She calls me, Hey, <laughs> the borracho you, you on that fucking, <laughs> you, look at this. Like, I'm going to yeah. throw out the Spanish and I can't speak. Yeah. You know, but yeah, <laughs> no, my mom, my mom calls me. That's like you on that <laughs> fucking Mexican game board. Good to fuck over here and do the goddamn dishes. She doesn't even sell it. Barajo. She says, yeah, refers to me as that. And by the way, none of us are Mexican here, so we can talk shit about all this, and, and it's okay because, oh, wait, it's the other way around. We do yeah, have, we, we are of, like, Mexican descent yeah. or the heritage, yeah, whatever, so we can up. touch it. Yeah. How do you know we I fucked it Mexican. up? <laughs> we're, not, we're not Mexican. We're of descent, heritage. Hey, we're, we had to, cause, well, you know what I'm talking we're, about. We're American but, first. Yeah, damn right. American yeah. first. Yeah. yeah, no, that's, that's the right. truth. That's we're, not, right. we're not Mexican. Or Texan first. first. Yeah. yeah, there yeah. you go. Secede, no, <laughs> no, We were yeah. a country at yes. one time. Yes, I mean, the only yeah. state that gets the flags flag the same height as the um, flag. What I was going to say, um, chairs. Chairs. Uh, fuck. <laughs> no, um, so it, it being election day in like oh. three days away. And My um, dad asked my... me to carry a gun with me that day. He's like, Paul, you need a gun? For what? On election day. Why? Well, just because of possible civil unrest, people going crazy. Why would they attack me? I'm going home. I just want to go. I just want to go home. I, I I got off of work. I'm working my ass off. I just want to go home. Why would they attack me? Well, here it is. If you need it, <laughs> that's it. Oh, but, but no. Uh, what do you? I'm not joking. <laughs> Regardless of who wins, you know, my dad's pretty paranoid lately too. Yeah, so he's I, like, they're fearing him. Will get you a shotgun. Like what the hell, like, this, man? This you is, know, this I'm is all America. About it, but you like, know. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of issues and whatever, and yeah. it, they cry. Foul or cry wolf or yeah. what they say, but that how long does it sustain? It does not. It goes away very quickly, and people are on to the next thing. Oh yeah, I am not worried. I mean, we'll be we'll be talking about you know a Kardashian ass oh, or yeah. something here very yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, regardless of who wins, and I don't want to get to like yeah, favoritisms no, no. or anything like oh who's going to win. Yeah. Um, because they never gave Rand Paul his face. Hey, no, Ron, by Ron, the way, as we're Ron, seeing, yeah. Ron Paul but, sticker but, on this. Yes, sir. Yes, this, sir. this just and, already uh, made me love yeah. you. So <laughs> and, 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 uh, and this Ron Paul pamphlet yeah. was just happened to be here yeah. because you know, know Chris's know. love. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, it, it wasn't, I swear, it was always been here. It yeah. wasn't coincidence that you came here and, oh, hey. What's no, I love it. No, no it was, I love it. I, I, you know, I'm lying. Gives me hope for our generation. Absolutely. Yes, sir. But... What do you predict? And it's it's kind of, no, kind of no. vague to say, yeah. but no. this, these next four years going to be in this country as far as whoever takes that hot seat. I, you know, I think what what we're you know I hate to get all super serious. I know this is a podcast, and you know, but this you, <laughs> hey, you're asking me politics. Hey, whatever then, you say, man, baby, then, I'm gonna. Uh, you gonna I'm ride gonna, with me, baby? Yeah, oh yeah, man. Let it ride, the, 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 my bottom the, bitch. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, but the thing is, I mean, that, that doesn't mean I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna disagree for you for the sake of you know yeah, just for uh, just yeah, the, um, entertainment. Me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I think I mean you know what does it look like right now? I think Hillary is pretty much the winner, as it were. Uh -huh. um, is that beneficial to anybody? I don't really know, per se. I mean, I think... I mean, both your decisions. This is probably the worst election I've ever seen in my life, as far as candidates are concerned. It's awful. I agree. Awful, yeah. awful, awful. Um, I think that's why so many people are just dissatisfied, and they just don't... I mean, I, I, even though I feel like there's there's a heightened sense of protect the republic or you know stop that 
you know what <laughs> but i mean it, at the same time and if, you can fill in the word for me because i know you'll say it but but otherwise <laughs> i'm um, here <laughs> Go for it. um but no the, i think if you're looking at the next four years and i and i think so many people are hyping up okay this is going to be everything's going to fall apart I, I don't really see that but i do see that there is certainly a heightened sense of a part of america that realizes that they're certainly there and it's it's nightfall for them in a lot of ways right um, they're really seeing that things are changing. They don't like it. Um, is it for good or bad? I don't know. I really, there's no way to really tell because I think most of what's happened in America always is like this. I mean, you have people who come in, things change, you get immigrants, you have different policies, yeah. there's different crises. So, I mean, it's a definitely, definitely a, 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 a clash with cultural differences. Yeah, it's, time. Sh- it's short-sighted to always <clears throat> think that we're just literally on the precipice of death and destruction. Yeah, every, right it's, everybody says so. that. Like, I, I'm sick of hearing, like, I swear this world's going to end. This world's gonna, it's going straight to hell. Oh, this is the worst it's ever been. They've been saying that for so fucking long. Well, you know, I, it, it's ridiculous. It's it's always the same story. You're it, right. I, if the world's gone to hell, like, apparently 80 years ago, where the fuck is it at? Well, being a millennial... I guess it depends yeah. how you look at it. The first time I ever heard know, that was in 2000. Yeah. Was there any other, like, oh, world's going to end threats before 2000? <laughs> wait, wait. I, well, what are you talking about? I wasn't talking about the world's going to end. I'm just saying well, the I, way I, how I, things are going politically, how people oh, view... Oh, okay, okay, the, okay. I'll I'm just saying know. from generation to generation, people say, like, oh... Well, um, you know, I swear, this, you know, this world's going straight to hell. Well, okay. to me, th- th- what that translates is is the fear of change and like things are happening, and it's just them not coping uh-huh, uh-huh. W- what's going to happen and, and what they're seeing is happening. Change is happening, and people fear change. You know, I, I do too. Like it's hard to adjust to that, and I think it, essentially that's what they're saying, but they're just covering up saying this world's oh. going to hell and, and yeah, all that shit. And they express, express it in the wrong way. They really yeah, they, and that's it gets what they, negative. Exactly. And that's but, what they uh, really mean, but they don't realize that they're saying that. But that's what, to me, that's what it translates. But to me, there, it, to me, a lot of stuff like that, it's sour grapes. I mean, come on, you got to think. I mean, I know that people are going to be like, "Why are you talking about?" Look, we have some of the greatest material wealth we've ever had. Technology is amazing. I mean, we live in a time of surplus. People don't even realize if you look at poverty across the world, poverty is on the on the decline. And I'm talking about abject poverty, like people literally not being able to eat and you know and and drink clean water. We're actually seeing that it's coming up, and it's it, things are being it's better all around the world. I I, I so, know what you're saying, man. So I know people, what you're saying. I think people really don't have a concept because, of course, you focus right. on some very little little stupid shit. But if you really looked at the big picture. We're in a great. I mean, really, we're in a great place. I, I yeah. really don't. I don't want to discount that, but I guess that's the libertarian. To me. For, so, the, right. for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. <laughs> I look forward to sour grapes and then my batch of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The member berries or whatever from South Park or whatever the hell it is? <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> oh, oh, man. The momentum is gone. <laughs> no, no, sorry, Paul. No, no, it's no, no, all no, gone. No, I'm sorry. I was just, no, I, I, was, I wanted to comment because, like, yeah, I agree. He's saying that it's, you know, poverty is, is declining. Yeah. Things I are, I, I mean, <laughs> we're in a world when today's hobo on the on the go has a fucking cell phone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> times are changing. You're right, like, hey man, man here's a five dollar bill. Man, can oh, yeah. you put this on my PayPal account? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, times are changing. They're fucking. They're they're moving on up. They're getting smarter. Like, yeah, like, right, like right, you yeah. give him a dollar at the street sign. He's taking a selfie with you. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> on his phone. <laughs> on his phone. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Today's yeah. hobo on the go is on the go. What's your name, man? So I can tag you in my Facebook. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's awesome, oh, man. man. You got time to do that shit again. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I really think that if... if um, no and, I, and I think that's why our generation, at least at this point, is is, is largely kind of out, outside of it and, and not focused. Because honestly, even though people are... Okay, yes, yeah, some, some people are in a lot of debt and schooling and stuff like that. But I think there is there's a lot more hope than I think there is um, despair. Yeah. So that, and again, I could just be optimistic. Who knows? But I, the stuff that I read, and you know, the economic stuff that I read as well, it just doesn't point me to a doom and gloom. So right. yeah. When you, when you say about debt, man, the first thing that came to my mind was school debt. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. it's like I, I they should they should it should be in tears, man. And depending on what degree you get, you get this amount of debt. Depending on what degree you get, right there. It's that amount of debt, man. If you're gonna get like a engineering degree, you're gonna come out of school with a eighty, a hundred thousand dollars in debt. But if you're gonna get a degree in like 
theater arts, man. You should come up with like twenty thousand dollars in, in debt, you know. <laughs> and it, it's a I don't know. It's a flawed system. And, um, well, it is. They, they need to it, do something about that. Well, for sure, and man. The, and it's going to be hard to deal with because it it may, it makes us we have to be honest about a lot of things. Yeah. And if you want me to tell you anything about politics, it's the fact that nobody's honest about what we really have to do. That's literally yeah. what stops so much of of any progress is being honest about what we really have to do. And and the problem is what what do you have to first do before you can even address the problem is to actually identify the problem. Right, right, right. And that's why nobody's <laughs> honest because they won't even identify the problem. So, oh man, that's it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> You know, I'm going back to the Ron Paul issue. Yeah. Paul, did you, did you want to comment or anything? It, wait, wait, issue? Wait, well, sorry, not issue, like, but what, I mean, like, you know, issue. topic, topic. That we were talking. How was your experience meeting Ron Paul? Man? Yeah. Because that would have been oh, so awesome, the I picture, can imagine. Just, you know, I mean, I, I, I've met it. Ron Paul a couple of times, but I mean, it, it was funny. The first time that I actually had, like, a solid 30 minutes with him, maybe oh, even 40 sweet. minutes. Like, I, we had gotten to one of his meetings and uh where he was talks and then he was just getting ready to start his campaign and uh um his car comes rolling in this into the um parking garage and i'm like oh my god Wait, is his car yeah he, 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 he's, he drives it, oh oh he, yeah he was with his uh, wife can I, i'm gonna yeah. guess the vehicle a, a cutlass supreme no, oh bro, no, no, no. you're there you're <laughs> there uh lincoln it was uh oh, you know he had the town car man 1983 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was rolling in style. It was at least the two thousand. Yeah, it was a, yeah, I mean, it was I, that I, softer be, body one. I figured it'd be a little frugal with his money at this I time. I would have said a Cadillac yeah, Deville. Or yeah, no, like. no. He, I mean, he's frugal enough because he's not. He's driving. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. but with, with, within, yeah, I understand within why reason, he would be within reason. I'm not trashing my man, Ron Paul. <laughs> no, but he, he he popped out, and I mean, I was like, oh my god, it's him. And then we we went, and he couldn't find the room that he needed to go to, so he sat there and talked with us, and. And uh, we got to walk with him over there, and we talked to his wife, Carol, and it was just a really wonderful thing. But but what was so interesting was we really didn't even talk about politics. All he wanted to do was talk about football and the weather. Oh, shit. Yeah, nice. That's all he wanted to talk nice. about. Awesome. And so that's it really nice. kind of brought me out of that point where I was like, I, I think it was one of the first times I realized I don't have to live and breathe this shit. I can I can kind of be a normal person. Have a life. I mean, if, yeah, because <laughs> if Ron Paul can do it, and he's like the, you know, the father of pretty much you know, of a lot of the way that I I kind of moved, then yeah, there there's got to be a way. I mean, you know, far as I would, con- you know, I'd be concerned. He's reading Mises on the damn toilet, so yeah. uh, <laughs> you know. So this, the, so the, yeah, that was. You can still was run a, the country doing it too. <laughs> I'm sure. So it was eye opening. It was eye opening, it was eye-opening but you know, yeah, for sure. <laughs> what other publications does Ron Paul had? Because I know in the Fed. Um, there's oh the, man, uh, uh, there's, that was an awesome. There's one awesome about book. schooling. He's got one on. Um, Trying to think of his other book, he's got a lot of books, man. The guy's written a lot. I just off the top of my head, I don't, I don't really yeah. have them all. Yeah, but, so I only have like two but he's, or three. Yeah, but he's really done a lot of a lot of work. I think he has one, um, one on uh, foreign policy, um, uh, and that's yeah, that's the other one that's coming to my head right now. Yeah, yeah. but well, he's a prolific writer too. Yeah, he writes a lot. So yeah, um, uh, the dead, hell was dead that? Air, dead air. And you know what? Another, another uh, thing. You know what? Dead air, dead air. When when when, <laughs> when um, do you plan on running again for District One Twenty Six? I don't know. They've somebody's already approached me. Um, Come on, baby. Yeah, right. Come I, on. No, no, no. I even had people. It was really sad because some people were like, you know, this was the year because you know Democrats would have been higher up. And I'm sure someone's going to be like, "Well, hold on, whoa, he's a libertarian." No, it's 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 because it's it's really the only play. It's the only game in town to me. Uh-huh. Um, I I just think the Republican Party is just just gone off the deep end. Um, and I were I was a Republican. We worked on the party. I just I don't feel there's any merit left. I mean, I, I think when you've basically given the finger to every ethnic group. Well, see, um, every other culture, right. religion. I don't really know what's left for you in a place that's <laughs> rapidly growing into a heavily minority area. Yeah, right. Yeah. right, right, right. So I, I was going to ask you, like your, your your opinion on that. Basically, like the values, the certain things uh, and, and when it comes to the Republican Party, but the way it's turning to be, like you're saying right there. That's not what it represents. I'm no, sorry. no, and I, no, and I, to I, your, sure, man, I, no, I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, here, here's the thing. <clears throat> the problem is you have extremes, and they take over the party. Yeah, and I think that the left and the right are suffering from 
for me, I feel like the left is so hypersensitive on a lot of social issues. Now, do that? Does that mean that I'm I'm insensitive to that? No. It just means that sometimes they they will literally burn the house down simply for one you know one thing, and not get the rest of the work that needs to get done. Yeah. Uh, same thing with the right. The right will do things on social issues, you know, gay marriage or something. And guess what? You're a party about individual liberty and free markets. Right. right. So <laughs> explain to me where the fuck that this is happening that you have to worry about whether or not Joe and Bob want to go and you know get married and. Uh, you know, explain to me what what your point is here, because I'm 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 wondering why your limited government ethos has anything to do with what they're doing and their personal choices. Yeah. So, again, it, I think both sides are having some serious come to Jesus moments, and if they're not yeah. if they're not willing to to really you know identify and fix them, then I really do think we're going to be at a point where there's going to be an realignment, right. because for me, millennials. And I'm sure some people on here are going to be like, that's bullshit. But, I mean, for me overall, I think millennials are socially liberal and they're fiscally conservative. Um, they want their government to be efficient. They want their money that, that's being taxed to be done, you know, to be used in a certain manner. Um, but, of course, not to have their taxes raised, as it were, you know, not where we're just willy-nilly using it. But also, at the same time, they want people to be freely, you know, be able to live their lives as they see fit. Mm -hmm. um, marijuana legalization because yeah. they don't think we should be putting people in jail for stupid shit and putting them with rapists mm. and people who are doing far greater crimes and then making them worse criminals when they get back yeah. out because they had an ounce in their pocket. Yeah, right. So the worst I, I, person yeah, in the world. Really, I mean, you know. Yeah. So I think that there's a lot of. I, I think that this generation is going to have a certain way um, of thinking that is just not going to fit in the boxes that we're already we've been given. I, I think we're really going to blow that up. I mean, I'm hoping. But, I mean, I'm saying that at 30, so, I mean, this isn't me at 21 or 18. I mean, I think even at 30, I think we still held these beliefs. So, will they hold till we're 40 and we're having more weight in the political system? I don't know. I hope so. Because, um, you know, as they say, you get a little bit more hardened. But I, I feel like even at 30, I'm still, or 31. <laughs> but I think I'm, I think, I think I feel like even though I've become more conservative economically, because that's one thing that I've changed on. But I think that that, that social the social liberalism I've always had, it seems to, it seems to coincide with that economics. So, yeah, uh, I was going to say, um, and again, if you're still with us, I am turn the tape over. <laughs> turn the tape. Side B, you know, the hell side B. We're going to take real slow and nice to you today, baby. <laughs> oh, but you know, it's just, it, it's just insane how you said, you know, Harden whenever you get to forties, you know, it's like come on. You know, I guess in politics they look at the age, and and once you're at a certain age, you're wiser and and all that noise. But you made a valid point, man. You know, these people that carry an, an ounce of marijuana are sharing the same jail cell that committed mass. Yeah, no, that's and, what I was gonna say. You brought her back up, and, and, they, and it's insane. Man, I, no, I was gonna make. I, I just don't like the fact the government says you can't do that to your body. Fuck you. It's my body. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. And who are you to tell me what I can and can't fucking love? Right. And that, I don't understand that. Like, how is that hurting people in the mass? Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, I'm just not necessarily considering myself liberal or really conservative, but I'm just really stuck in the middle. I just, it just drives my, it just, I, don't, I just don't understand that. Why did I get involved? Why did somebody else say, oh, um, I don't do that, so you shouldn't do it either? Who the fuck are you looking at for my? Yeah. It's not up to you to look for my well being. That's up right. to me. We're all supposed to take. Well, you know, of course you have to take care of each other, but I don't think it's up to you to tell me what I want to do and I can't do with my fucking body. Right. And the good thing is, I think it's and breaking you be down punished about because that. because we've had such such a population such control. a tilt <laughs> such a tilt take to too many drugs, you die. that it's law good. enforcement <laughs> drug war thing that's been right. going on since Reagan. I mean, right, you know, right, Nathan, right. But I think that what you're really looking at now is that. You can literally point and go, that shit didn't work. You can yeah. literally point to these things now. Um, the subject of gay marriage, that shit didn't work. You could talk about when they didn't even want to have people who were of different races marrying. I mean, that shit didn't work. So you have, again, you just have these, it, it takes time. But history has to show people, it's, it's, it's experience, you know, people have to experience it. But I think that really, I think that with technology and the way things are so fast now, yeah. 
it, it's the, the way that that normally would have taken so long. Now it's almost instantaneous. If something happens that that people could point to and look at it and go, you know what, we're not going to do that anymore. It doesn't take months for it to come down on the, you know, on the damn, do, 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 you know, that, yeah. you know, Bobby, we got another headline. You know, you don't have to worry. You don't have to wait on that. You're you're already going to get it, and, yeah. and you can assimilate it and try to figure out what we're going to do next. So, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it's light speed now. Let's, let's hope this yeah. podcast is the same deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, but basically, what you're saying is like you're, you're stating evidence. It's what they've been trying to do. Uh, all these things. They want to do that. that say we're going to do this. It's, it's been done. It hasn't worked. Why are we still trying to do that? Yeah. It's. It's. And the <laughs> solutions have always been to double down on it, make it worse. Yeah. If, it that, if that didn't work, fucking work, we're going to do it better. and We're going to do it harder. It's, it's not effective. Like how is that? Yeah. How is that going to work? The dead horse. Right. Harder. Are they, did they know anything about documentation? Are they? Do they know that word? I don't fucking get that. <laughs> Fucking morons are clueless sir, about sir, that. Sir, this is not like a porno. But, you don't just keep adding men and think it's going to get better. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Sometimes one is enough, people. Gee, you know? That is a great <laughs> analogy. Can't get, take care of it, but you know what? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Jesus, that is... Julie needs two more. Let's go. If that's, the fluffer's if, if, ready. You know? If Come on. If that's politics in a nutshell, I don't know what it is, but that's perfect as far as strategies I'm and what just, they want to do. <laughs> Fucking, that is, if somebody oh, has this tape, you now have me talking about politics awesome, being analogous to porno. I like how so. you keep saying referring to tape because <laughs> I know, you know, we're, we're just a I know. Did, you, that's someone someone an old man. No I'm an old man. <laughs> There's no tape involved at all, man. This is all digital. No. Leave me alone. It's analog. <laughs> I'm over here winding. Unless that person that gunned it to 88 in a DeLorean and went back to oh, you know, the 80s. And, and, oh, he's referring to me. <laughs> you know, this is my subject change. Raph, how you doing, honey? Know, you haven't you, said jack shit. Right? I, I'm just listening to I you guys heard, talk. No, you're not. I'm, I'm just listening I to heard a y'all couple, guys talk couple because y'all breaths. guys are just going at it, and I'm enjoying it. So I got nothing. I mean, y'all from, guys. From your channel, I see uh, a couple, you know, bars going up and down. It's, just, it's your breath. On the, on the <laughs> I know it is. I'm not going to lie. It is. I got, so I got, basically, like we are talking about breathing. earlier, we're saying chairs were gauges for weight. So your breath is also a gauge of your weight. So, uh, mm, no. What? Beer, <laughs> then I should really be breathing hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just calling you. Oh, yo. Well, yeah. you're breathing hard. You who, know. who has that Ted Cruz form? Where is it? Let's, let's That's the t- Ted just Cruz go ahead form? and roll that throw. You know the one that with the chick, right? Oh, you were telling yeah, me yeah, the ten thousand right. dollars. She said she's going to go buy her yeah, two hundred fifty thousand yeah, miles. I looked. No, no, no. Did he validate well, you, that poll? No, I looked it up. <laughs> well, no, I didn't see the video. I just no. saw. I just saw the. <laughs> she was on Maury. I saw like a quick <laughs> Maury, article. No, no Maury, and, and, like, Maury. She looked disgusting. She does look just like him. But the face, right? Yeah. But it's like I don't think I would go further than that. I don't want to see anything. You, you know the, Seeing the, her neckline was bad enough. I don't want to see anything much, bad. Or, yeah, I don't want to go further than that. You know what the purse was, was that X Hamster uh, offered her? Yeah, it said 10 grand. Was it 10 grand? Yeah. Okay. Jeez, 10, 10 grand. 10,000 real fucking I could have sworn they said $10,000. She was like, yeah, I'm going to buy a truck. But, you know, I'm going to change my life. But it's and, like Chris said, well, uh, you know, a 10 grand, what are you going to buy a fucking, what, uh, $200,000? Yeah. I mean, it's a 200,000 mile Ford yeah, Ranger. Sorry. You know, it only ticks when it's cold, <laughs> oh, you know, no, but it no, runs no. like a top. I mean, come on. I what in the world? Vegas hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I got those sweet, what are they going with the mud flaps with the lady on the back, you oh, know? Yeah. But it's but it's only one wheel. It's not like an 18 wheel, but I've got it, and it's in there. <laughs> no, I think I'll have a nice uh, week. With my Trump pants sticker on the back. <laughs> Make America great. <laughs> Again. Oh, my baby. Damn. Well, uh, yeah. Um, well, Chris, you know, th- thanks again for you know coming by and uh, you know uh, being a guest, giving your political views about certain things. But have you watched um, Ghostbusters by any chance? The new Ghostbusters. Oh, sweet lord! <laughs> oh, sweet <laughs> baby Jesus! So that that's, means you like it. Yes, that means okay, he cool. Well, it. because we're going to do a review, and this love might your be input. the current current movie that I believe we should. Pass a law and take all copies and burn them. What? And and just and just just believe that it never happened. Damn, you're you're comparing it to the, the ET game for Atari. <laughs> yeah, just just dump a bunch of dirt on it and, and just kill it for thirty years and Forget maybe it. maybe it'll go away and then it'll come back and people will still realize how shitty it is. Yeah, it won't be a cultural hit. Yeah, <laughs> just like the it'll, ET game. It'll only be nostalgia that saves it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like the previous reviews that we did, like we did a review on The Walking Dead in the last episode. I watched 
the new Ghostbusters, and I kind of stopped watching it after like <sighs> two thirds of it. You know, okay. um, I watched a lot of it, but I couldn't watch all of it. Um, okay. So it's not gonna. I, I cannot put my opinion on it as far as going detail de- by detail of this movie. But Paul, um, I think you watched all of it, and maybe mm. Chris, you watched Call all of it. Out, I, eh? I, I, yeah, it actually took two sittings to finish two it. Two sittings. Raph, did you watch all of it? Yeah, I watched all of it. Oh man, I'm the Raph. For this review, for once, <laughs> man, how's it feel? Yeah, I watched all of it. Yeah, it was great, baby. And I think yeah. I'm gonna start doing this more often. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it could only be one. Fuck that, it can't be two. <laughs> you can't take that gamble. That both, you know, whatever. Yeah. What do you say, Ralph? No, I was gonna say. Excuse you know, me. you know mm-hmm. how people say is like, um, I'm gonna watch a movie because of such and such actors in it. Right. The only reason why I wanted to watch the movie was we guess, we guess. Kristen Wiig. Exactly. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, that's really I like her. I, her. Yeah. I like her. Yeah, you did mention that before. And I, and yeah. She was pretty good. I mean, for what she did, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, that's the only reason why I was interested in it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, let me, let me give you my opinion on it. Um, Those big long hot dog fingers of hers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started it. And it Raph and is it, pissed. And it this is your Alexander Daddario. <laughs> Tables have turned, my friend. Well, no, nah, she's she's not my Alexander. Shut the up. Purple <laughs> but what's it called? She's Dario. <laughs> Leave her alone. Those older women that is fucking. Uh, I, I like her. You know, she, she's a great actor. Oh, she was cool. Okay, in, uh, well, I'll give, you that. Oh, I'll give you that. I'll you know, give you that reminds me. I watch a lot of movies of hers and. You know, right? Bridesmaid being that. probably the best. Yeah, you're right. But that you know, one of her I, best. I heard great actress, but I could swear I heard self-proclaimed great actor. <laughs> oh. And I'm not going to mention a name. Academy Award winning. <laughs> yes, and, and Grammy, Grammy his, his own Grammy. personal personal ceremony. <clears throat> yes, Grammy tiptoeing to. <laughs> yes, you know, um, I don't know. Embellishing. Hell, you guys way too much. <laughs> However, that is a fucking okay. lie. I started. I pressed play on this movie. To give okay. it a chance. You okay. press play. I didn't I know did. that exists anymore. Yeah. And um, pressing play was the bravest the thing you've done all year. <laughs> the bravest thing you've done all so, year. You should be rewarded. Yeah, should have been. But uh, you were. You didn't I, finish it. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the new Raph. <laughs> that was your fucking reward is not having to far <laughs> yeah, to, to, to sear that bad movie in your brain. <laughs> you know, it, it take when I watch a movie if if I have to like stop or whatever because I'm not interested. I mean, it's a bad movie, but yeah, it started off I think kind of strong. Um, I, I I like the direction that they were taking it. You know, not totally ripping off like oh we're gonna start uh, start from the last Ghostbusters movie or anything like that. It was a totally new kind of franchise type deal and they okay, kind of pay yeah, homage to whatever they uh back what they did back in the 80s you know i did respect that okay um, but uh and i did like you know uh the character that played jared in silicon valley his his role no, in that you know how he shit his pants and everything <laughs> i like that aspect of the movie too because you know the guy's awesome and especially yeah. in that series silicon i'm a i'm biased because silicon valley is an awesome tv show my it is my great. judge yeah. is yeah. phenomenal um, but I fell off when they kind of hit these stupid punchline jokes, and it was kind of like, uh, Paul said it best, but I'm not going to steal what he, uh, the, the reasoning, what he said, but it, it felt like it was kind of like, they're, they're going off a whim right there. There was no script. It fi- kind of felt like whatever they were, what the joke that was coming up next was out of their gut. It wasn't like scripted, you know? Um, mm, okay. God, yeah. for me, it even went down to a base level, like, mm. just the look of the movie. Oh, yeah? I mean, yeah. I felt like it was just, like, completely at all it... times magenta. Mm. I guess, like, the script was written, <laughs> like, um... Well, I don't think that's you're, exactly you're say... what I said, Jacob, but okay. <laughs> no, no, what you said was, like, a, a, a certain sketch. Like, it, it felt like... Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. so I'm not gonna, I'm not okay. gonna steal that, but however, I did feel that same vibe, but uh, I felt like, okay. you know, the jokes were yeah. coming out of the gut. Yeah. It wasn't like, mm-hmm. oh, this is a script, I gotta rehearse these lines, and I tell you like what, two like, weeks the, back. The and, script was written like this, it was like, you're gonna say such, such, and then they leave a blank, it says, insert generic, um, <laughs> insert generic joke. From That's from circa is. 1999 you know yeah. to 2005. You know, I've, 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 I've heard, uh, you know, I've, I've heard of that stuff. And I don't. Is that necessarily true? I don't. I don't know if they actually do that. They actually give actors or actresses like. When it has to be true. No, but see, that's the thing, though. Like when you're acting, like whatever. Some, some, sometimes, the, damn it. The, usually, things are scripted in anyways. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have like a blank here, this and that. Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes they. Uh, uh, and then he's the moment the actor actress is like let me try this instead it just improv on the spot right. it doesn't okay. say that, that makes, on the uh, no, script I, I agree no, it no, doesn't no, no, say no. like uh, I could be wrong but 
sometimes when they feel it or whatever, they just do it anyway, or they have, if they have um, an idea or something, they just go with it. What you're saying is uh, when the director feels it's okay that the actor can... Uh, Improv, can go ahead improvisation, and improv, can yeah. improv. No, but or sometimes the, can be the, free with the, his the director is not God. It's not always God. Let me mm-hmm. give you that. It's just, no, I know what you mean. I, I but I know. No, what I'm trying to say sometimes like they just go with they they just improv. No, as it, well, but it's not just. In, I know what you're saying, but you're saying is as far as the script. No, 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 no. I, I get what you're saying because like a lot of Judd Apatow movies are kind of like that. You know, um, that's why it, get, it gives it the character. Like whenever you see a movie with Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill together, it's going to be no, kind of the same type of I know, jokes. Well, you know, what well, I mean? well, especially the way they do it, where they'll say, "Okay, here, here's the broad base line," and then they're going to do like eight or nine takes of them trying to riff on that particular riff line, that line yeah. and then they find the right one that makes sense, and boom, it's, that's what yeah. you see in the it's movie. Like how we but movies. if you look at the clip, if you yeah. look at the cuts, then oh man, they had these terrible other jokes yeah. you know? but they were funny but they're just a whole bunch of them they just weren't they just didn't no, dive yeah exactly. I'm, I'm just saying like I, I, I've heard of that but see I don't think um, they even did that if, 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 yeah. <laughs> they didn't even do that it doesn't well. say like you know blank um, and like whatever you, I, I, just the way you guys described it I just I, I've heard that to me uh, but I, I mean I heard it I've heard people say that yeah. and I don't think that's how it's done is what I'm trying to say oh, from what there I've was, known there was the look the feel I could be this wrong. whole just... this whole trying to sidestep this cultural thing in the movie like we're gonna flip everything on its head we're gonna have a man as the secretary and the women are gonna be the I mean right, right. It, 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 to a point okay because we're gonna get into it I'm just gonna push it the misogyny thing okay somebody's gonna say we're being sexist about this no I think this movie could have totally excelled with women as a, as a full cast. There's nothing wrong with that. It could have excelled with men and women. Um, my thing is, though, that, that really was, they, they really were, tr- they, everything was so overdone. The, even the way that the technology stuff they had in there. I don't ever, come on, the freaking, the toaster in the second one. Jesus Christ, they put, they put pink goop in it, and it, bang, bang, and all you see is you see the little servos popping the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the damn thing up and down. They're, the way that they were trying to do this was just so overdone. Good in heaven. other I mean, words, they tried so too much. hard. They did. They tried too hard. Yeah. And it just, it just, it comes off, and then you, you just, you get pushed back. I, to me, it just made me not want. I, I wanted to feel. To, I think when you want to go see Ghostbusters, especially these nostalgic movies, I mean, you want to have a certain comfort to it. And then when you don't get that, I don't know. And especially when they're trying to shove it in your face every five seconds. What? Did y'all guys like? Any of the the paying homage tribute to the original cast that that was brought into this movie, like for instance the the Harold Ramis statue that happened that was in the um, the school, a- anything like that. Bill Murray showing up in that what I guess it was a talk, and that's where I cut it off kind of really when Bill, Bill Murray showed up at that uh, at that interview and yeah he's a he, he was an alias so I don't know yeah he's yeah, a I mean, skeptic he wasn't really like portraying him well see that's what character. I mean again they're trying that, too hard it was it was trying to push them it was trying to push even the things that made the movies great even trying to push them out of the out of what would have made them relevant to uh, me Dan Aykroyd's a cab driver he's yeah, not even yeah, I, I mean they couldn't have made him a, a, they me. couldn't have made him a spiritual bookseller or something like that where they go in there to buy books or something like and the, he yeah, and he explains one, yeah. about you know it, I mean there couldn't have been something that you know that, that would bring something back I mean I don't know it just it, 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 based on what you just said <laughs> um I like the way he did Harold Ramis then, you know, him as a statue. I mean, it was decent. He passed away. I mean, I he had a statue. He's like, I guess, the founding of the school, founder of the school, you know, whatever. The Bill Murray, when I, when I saw that, I was like, I'm confused. Are you are you an alias? Are, are you trying to say that you, that you were that character, but now you're not? But, you don't believe? You know, I, I'm kind of confused well, that's why on you, that. When you brought that up, like, I, I, it really threw me off as the first trailer because it says, <clears throat> there's text, it says 30 years ago. There was a group of teens. They were referring to the Ghostbusters and the original ones. And the way they made it seem like was, is this a remake or is this a, a, a continuation of the film? It, it made right. no sense. It, right. it, it confused the shit out of me. Do you, you, you remember that? Do you remember seeing the first trailer was like that? No. No? Like, it, okay, in the first trailer, it shows like text. It says like about 30 years ago. Uh, the city of New York, and it, it, it's referring to the original no, Ghostbusters. The original Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, why the hell did they bring that up if this is like a total remake? It, I, I, I know what you mean, okay, yeah. Everybody knows what Ghostbusters is, okay? <laughs> why do they, well, I, I figured they brought that up for, because I thought it was going to be a continuation, not a, not a, not as in like a, a total reboot. Right. Well, I don't Raph, know they're talking to well, we was going to go back, Raph, well, let me know what, because I feel like we're, we're, we're kicking it on technical level. So, what, what is it about the acting that you were really 
I guess, that, that was kind of killing you. What are you talking about? What were you talking about earlier? You were talking about the acting, or just the lines, the way the script was. Oh, no, no, no. I was just saying that the the jokes that the, that they were trying to make funny, it just seemed like um, that they, they, they fell short. Like, it just didn't seem, um, how do you say, like, fluent. Like, if, for instance, uh, what y'all were saying earlier, like, if, you know, you watch uh, Seth Rogen and uh, Jonah Hill go at it, you, you know, you get, like, a good vibe going, right, right? as uh, the joke-wise. But when they told the jokes, it just felt, like, fucking just cheesy and fucking generic. That's that's what I was getting at. Yeah. No, I can see that. I mean, that's in a lot of ways. I think that's what the whole movie really. Was. <laughs> you know, yeah, I think I think you can like, just sum was, it up that way. You know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, what was that shit? A fucking um, the, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm lost. I'm uh, lost for what can I kind right of pick so. up where you left off? Let me help you out here. I, I'm sorry. What I <laughs> there's a difference between uh, 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 you know, I guess like as far as like being funny and trying to be funny and. Or uh, like how people really are, and and then trying to be funny. The, those things were just the jokes and what they were saying. It was just they're trying going back to like they're trying too hard, and, and uh, just the difference is like how people really are, like how they're they're serious. In other words, like the characters in, in, in number one and two, they weren't trying to be funny. That's who they are, and how they it's like these people yeah. are serious, and to us like. This is hilarious from our perspective because from their view, they're being serious, drunk, God, <laughs> and and that's that's what makes uh, the, the the original ones great. And versus this yeah. one because they're trying to be funny. These guys weren't trying to be funny. That's well, who they are. They're exactly. characters, and that's what the whole the the uh, like the, the you know truth and comedy. Um, how people really are, like how um, there's nothing funnier than the truth, as they say. Well, yeah. Like it's 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 you can't make this shit up. Like well, the, well, the funny stories. thing is, it's almost an inverse of. And I mean, bear with me. I'm going to use something more modern as far as a uh, analogy. Here we go. <laughs> but I think it's more like um, it's more like a Tim Burton Batman versus a Christopher Nolan. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the originals are more Christopher Nolan. I can kind of believe. What was going on in the Ghostbusters? That that is something that was happening really in the world. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This one is so cartoon. Exactly. And it's, and yeah. They were so. <laughs> yeah. It was CG. so just. Ugh, I mean, just look at the ghost. I yeah. mean, what I was. I thought you know. Has anybody been to Disney World? Yes. Yeah. You know the haunted whatever the haunted oh, mansion, the, the, the Eddie Murphy one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I swear to God, it, it, it felt it, like exactly I was like literally that. in a seat and they were it doing the little too. tour, and it's all these ghosts, <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck is worried about this? She's spewing magenta, or she? Magenta she, she I mean, no, I'm sorry, Not cyan. Even. The colors they used were so vibrant, and it was like, yeah. How the fuck is a ghost gonna come and say, you know what? I am gonna pick the greenest of green. Because yeah, that's true. fucking scary. Yeah. Let me well, tell you, I'm I'm fucking neon. Yeah. Bitch. There, there's one thing I, I am taking away girlfriend. from the, <laughs> one, the dragon. Of, her the dragon <laughs> that that somehow sits on what's her name shoulders Back. and her shoulders. Yeah, um, that's right. uh, no, and and the Stave Puff man is a a, a fucking balloon. Um, uh, they even have the oh my god when they start doing battle with them in the in the streets mm-hmm. and they're using their proton the the stream as a like a whip thing. Oh yeah, I mean it just. I'm telling you, man, it just started going off the rails. I was like, did y'all just run out of shit at this point? Like that's that's a problem. Like 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 I was telling I was telling Jacob earlier, movies have a target audience, and obviously for the most part, in general, like well, yeah, all four of us can agree, we weren't the target audience. And when you have a target audience, that's usually probably the director and producer, like what their intent of what they're trying to do. Like when I'm making this movie. What, who am I thinking of that's going to want to watch this movie? Who's going to like it? And obviously, when they're, when they're making this fucking movie, they weren't thinking about people like us. No, I don't. And it's know. obviously I, I different. The target audience is not us. Yeah. Well, the, well, the sad thing is, think about, think about some of our, the, I think some of the more, most iconic movies as a kid, Robocop. Um, hell, even, <laughs> teenage, even Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, yeah. these movies, shit, if those were geared towards children at the time, oh my God, no wonder we were all fucked up. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, yeah, right, at right. the same Did time, if, <laughs> I mean, you know, like, look, come on, uh, when, uh, what's his name, that bodyguard guy is literally doing coke off that chick's, the chick's uh, tits, you know? I that and, I, and I can still remember that shit as a kid, you know? He's all like, tumping it over, he's like, <laughs> you know, and it's like, holy shit, what the fuck just happened? That looks good. 
I really like that. Is there any powder somewhere that yeah, I can have? Yeah, right. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> gets powdered sugar. We're good to go. Yeah, I feel like that's and, how and we got that I powder eat, candy. And that's no, <laughs> but raised well. No, but I had a good childhood. I, that's why. If if and again, I think that raises a, a, a good question though, as far as audience. If that is the target audience. Wow, is that is that what we're? Oh, wait, I mean, wait, hold on, wait. Are you still stuck on RoboCop? <laughs> are you talking about fucking Ghostbusters? No, no, I'm telling you, no, we're going 2016. Okay, I'm sorry. No, like, I I'm, think it's obvious the target audience for RoboCop. It wasn't right. fucking five year olds. No, it that, wasn't. That but no that's I get, well, that's what I. That's kind of what How I'm getting. How am I going to traumatize a five year old? That's what I'm getting Fuck. at. Like you have these movies that we grew up with, and I think that they became children movies, as it were. That's just what happened. Yeah, uh, we, Ghostbusters. I don't think was geared towards us. Obviously um, not, no. You know. But I, I don't know. I, I've seen and read things about that movie. I don't want to get into it because I don't yeah. know if it's necessarily true. But you know, th- there's some arbitrary views and, and ways of like I can understand why they went this direction. But it, it's it, they weren't really thinking it through too much. It was more like like he said at one point, like are they running out of, de- out of ideas at this point? It was like, well, their intent initially and everything they wanted to do lack substance to begin with and it just went to shit and it just so you could see and tell when you're watching the movie how when it lacks substance like this is just oh and like what jacob was trying to say earlier he didn't want to say what i want to say but i'll say it now but when i watched the movie or well when i watched two or there's a second or third trailer i realized like you know what this movie seems like a fucking snl parody at this point yeah not because like well maybe because yeah they're in snl characters but it just all seemed like it was just a parody I mean, of, of the Ghostbusters. I mean, look, at and him, like, look at Hemsworth. I mean, the way I, that they I, used him as a character. He's a fucking uh, idiot. I'm, I'm going to sit at the table now and, and be, a, uh, you know, this, this um, yeah. illustrious man. And you're just exactly. getting, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a dumbass. Yeah. I mean, That's not funny. That's, that's not. Fucking, it was, it was ben, I mean, it was really beneath their, to all of them. All of them. It was beneath yeah. their comedy. Well, all yes, of it their was. Because I like Kristen yeah. uh, uh, Wig and I like Miss, Melissa McCarthy. A lot yeah. of people give but Melissa McCarthy a lot of shit. But I like, you know, I like them, but the that's not the... Lady Clinton, I mean, yeah, there was Yeah, but either way, people, like, yeah. it's... Because you're saying earlier, a lot of people are like, oh, it's just, you know, you don't like because it, it, it's females. No. That's not the fucking no, reason. No. I like them before. And I love... There's nothing wrong with the strong... With the Well, not to say strong... A female-driven character that's a main character in a I'll film. say this. I they have nothing wrong with they, that. They, were, they I, did I, something beneath themselves. They yeah. could have done better. But, okay... Uh, as long as the... Sto- I'm, I'm just, hold on, I was just going to say, as long as the story... Is driven by good characters and good character development, and and has substance, and has something meaning. That's just I, I, so, certain movies that that speak to me. But you know, they like I said, going back to target audience, they they were just kind of trying to go for like what how much money they can make for this movie or right, right, 2016. Right. But um, what's I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I just think, <laughs> I just think that whenever you touch substance, a, whenever you touch it. a franchise like Ghostbusters. I think if you're going to hire on a, a, an actress like Kristen Wiig, I think you need to just try them out differently and not be a typecast type actress. Because when I heard the jokes that's coming out of Kristen Wiig, this is just like Bridesmaids. It's for Kristen Wiig. Well, it's quick and quirky, and it's like passive aggressiveness, kind of, sort of. She, she, she was put in a position that she really couldn't do anything yeah, with it. And that's sad because yeah, Kristen Wiig is not, yes, it's it's so not much necessarily sometimes that. their fault. Like, it's. Yeah, certain that powers. That character was written terribly. Yeah, no, it was, and and and, and I I understand what you mean, and uh, because uh, I I do like Miss McCarthy a lot, and and but it's just, yeah, it, it, certain. She just wasn't making me laugh as normally as she normally does, and like what yeah. she does, yeah. and it just felt like it was just lazy, all this stuff, and yeah. but it, it couldn't. It could just be possibly because of shitty writing and yeah. well, poor directing. Uh, because uh, what if they did that? The tactic of or like you know we're going to run this take three times. The best joke wins, and yeah. that's it. And the best joke wasn't. Yeah. Well, shit. You see, take, you know, well, see, know? that's the thing though. Like that's what I was going back to. I'm saying like target audience and what we're how we view and perceive things that like uh, as far as like uh, a good movie. To me, that movie just lacks substance. I like I like movies with substance, like something, right. but. And that's what at least Ghostbusters they had something going on well, for them. We, but we, uh, the original one that is. Um, I'm sorry. Now we're missing the the um, the, the African American lady. Uh, is it Leslie? Oh, right, Leslie uh, Jones. I Leslie believe. Jones. Yes. You know, she might have been the only one there that landed anything. Once yeah. or twice, she had something that was actually like well, see, funny. You know, or at least see, that's the thing though. Like move something it's, along. Uh, that, that's that's unfortunate because like for me, like I want somebody to hit, to hit it all the way, like and carry the character through all the way. No, I agree with you, but that's, that sucks. That's what that I mean. You it's have like to you, say that yeah, though. Like I have it, to literally she hits say, it yeah. once or twice. Yep. Like man, I don't want to. 
like literally Chris Hemsworth should just never have been there. Yes, that was stupid. There was no was reason pointless. for that. There was no reason for Bill Murray to be there. There was I mean I mean almost mm. mo- even oh my god, we're even missing the guy that played the um yeah. the the guy that turned into the ghost god dude or whatever and Oh, Rick, that Rick, guy. Rick Moranis yeah. was in there? No, no. <laughs> I'm thinking that's the, the that's, nerdy that's guy. How Chris, well, hold on, the nerdy guy that learned all this science from a book and yeah. was somehow able to build these uh, fan, you know, fascinating yeah. machines that required like advanced he was engineering. Bull- he, he was he was bullied and he tried yeah. to like, but he was uh, a bellhop take- or some shit. Yeah, and but then he, he fucking you know. pussy. But he was bullied and, <laughs> and, and 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 you know took his frustrations and want to take over the ghost. Like I was fucking bullied again and all the, that again shit. The substance. And well, I don't care about I don't care about ghosts. It's like ah fuck it, whatever. I was referring to the first ghost was where Rick Moranis was you know uh, taken over by, by the spirit he was, yeah, super, was, super, but, but was, was he not in that movie at all like a, uh, no a he didn't even show super up super Mario no, yeah. what about Ernie Hudson no, Ernie Hudson did show up. He was the one that he was Leslie Jones's uh, uncle, uncle the, at the very oh, really? end. He's like, "What the hell? Where the hell's my hearse?" Yeah, and uh, oh. there's no hearse. Okay, you know? so, and, and uh, Sigourney Weaver. And, and... Sigourney Weaver shows up. Oh, did she? Really? Um, I can't in remember. The end. I think in the end. It's not because like the movie's this, not yeah. memorable. I just can't remember. No, I well, I remember <laughs> some of the things. I mean, there's little pieces of it, but again, yeah. it's. There's look, Paul. It's substance. Why are you pointing me out? Oh, well, because look, <laughs> I don't because I feel like I'm so you know because I am I'm devastated because it was one of my yeah. favorite movies. And if you were going to remake it, yeah, I would have even taken a half-ass you know, effort, a no, half-ass effort, but, but and you still would have made thing, me no. happy. Here's the thing: that like, wasn't even that wasn't even Robocop, the one they just remade with that Brazilian director. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. I mean, shit. No. Don't have a car. Have a fucking motorcycle. I mean, <laughs> no, it's not an ambulance. It's a hearse. Yeah. Way to go, right, motherfucker! Right, right. You did a real see, good job with that shit. Oh, it's like a. Go- anyway, so now I was gonna say, just ultimately to me, my my whole take on this drinking. thing. <laughs> that's not an excuse. Oh, yeah, that's true, sir. And we're talking about here is to me like it just Hollywood and unfortunately like a lot of a lot of production companies they 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 it's they don't want to take a chance on originality. It's too hard. It's an investment when you put in a, you know money in a movie. And when you have an original idea, it might be good, but the risk is: is it going to make money? Is it going to be a hit? So a I lot of a lot a lot of movies are remake for a reason because, like, oh, I remember that movie. Let's see how this one works. So they're they're they're, they're what's it called they're um they're depending on that old audience that sold the that no. sold the original and they want they they know it can be somewhat guaranteed Without a doubt. to make money. But no, the point is I'm trying mm. to say is Ghostbusters 20, 2016, The fact is like it's a known franchise. People are, people people are going to want to see it, and either way, they 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 want to um, just what's it called? Um, what's the word? Um, commercialize as much as like it, like advertise and all this shit. It all was was trying to be a money maker. They didn't give a shit about substance. Like I kept saying, going back to that target audience wasn't a you know wasn't towards us. It was all about trying to make a, a fucking buck, and that's all it was. And and, and, and they don't give a shit. No, about no, that. I'm with you. But my thing is, it was easy to have done that. And a half ass effort would, but see, come that's out. what I'm saying. Like certain people that got, but that's the people that got a hold of it. Yeah. Unfortunately, like they're the ones. They, that's what they want to turn into it, and they don't really care. They don't care about the old franchise. No, no, they you had, know who directed that. They, yeah, Paul Feig. I'm oh, not gonna get into Paul him. Feig is awesome though. I know, but weights. I'm not gonna get into that though, man. Like like I told up, you, man. I've heard. I'm not gonna get into that because there are things that are. I think because of the whole the whole. Too? Well, <laughs> because of the emails. In like the Sony hacked and all that stuff. Oh, There's okay. a lot of conversations. I'm not. I'm not gonna get into it. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. But I'm just saying. Like, I, I think I thought Pop. I'm just when saying. He did, he did, ultimately, he did an awesome job in, in Bridesmaids. Yeah, and yeah, he's an awesome no. character in Heavyweights. Heavyweights of is course, an awesome. I agree Disney too. I, lo- I love Bridesmaids and I love uh, Heavyweights. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He did that, dude. That's kind of disappointing. But I mean, uh, there's something else going on. But um, it's unfortunate. I'm not gonna say I'm why. I'm not gonna get into that. But basically, it just ultimately came down like you know, this is gonna be a money maker. And we're gonna do what we want, and we're gonna try to uh, uh, get as much money as we can. So we're gonna take this route and go uh, so, and do how things, how pretty much how the movie end up being, is because it's it's based on fucking trying to make the money. They think, don't care about, like I said, the substance. I'm like, and, and if it's, it's, you know, reputation uh, or the legacy of the of the original two. I don't give a shit about that. They didn't care. That wasn't their intention, and that pissed off a lot of people. And like, yeah. and a lot, obviously us. That were fans of the original. Like, I was a big fan of that. My dad's like, "You're gonna wear out those fucking VH tapes, VHS tapes of uh, the Ghostbusters one and two because oh, we nice. kept watching well, you know, over and over." I guess, I, guess I have a question then. Uh-huh. If, if 
because it, it feels like we're let we're I'm, I'm, I'm almost feel like we're letting them off too easy, and I'm not willing to do that. So my my question, well, no, no, okay. well, here's my All question. Right. My question is then, how do you how do we account for the success of say like Batman? Because it's known source material. There's always new reiterations. There's people who take risks with the character, risks with the source material. Right. So if they can do this over almost what ten movies now, I mean, I'm just I'm just putting yeah, a, yeah. a number okay. out there. If you're talking about yeah. Christopher Nolan, my point is, no, 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 no,
and they didn't look at what they had to build in order right, to make right, right. something because successful. Because they had to yeah. ghost so, but, but so, see, that's so that, what I'm saying. They're riding on that just because they want to. They yeah, know they they <laughs> know it's going to be a hit. They're they're just, right, but they, I'm just saying, so many other people have done it. and I'm saying, if Batman can do it, and I'm well, and I'm just using like a Michael Bay with the Ninja Turtles. Michael Bay with the Ninja Michael Bay physics. Yeah, just you know. I mean, I'm just saying. There's there's it. I really, I guess again, it just the movie kill it. It burnt me so bad that I just don't want to give them the excuse that. Oh well, no, no. They were lazy. They they took they took some people that really would have been great actresses, yeah. and would have made a movie hilarious and put them in roles and well, had scripts that were terrible. Yeah, the the graphics were terrible. <laughs> the, I yeah. mean, the look I mean, and feel of the movie, the technology they were using. I mean, the the whole point of the story. No, I'm with you. And yeah, that, that's. But I'm and, just saying though, it's like. I, I don't to me it's it just can't be about whether they were tired or much. it's really that they were just that bad. You know what yeah. these classics that we <laughs> have basic psychology, man. You everything know. you said, everything yeah. you cited is all on on a foundation and, and intent, like I said, on, on a bad. basis of what they do. That basis right there is gonna be a reflection of everything and anything you do. In the film, like everything you just cited, yeah. I'm telling you, it just all roots down and comes down to basically this is a money maker, and we're gonna do whatever it takes to uh, uh, to make the money. I think and it's just, that whenever and it turned out to be shit, whenever that's it. I'm sorry. We, we we try to you know get into these cult classics like Robocop, yeah. fucking Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles. Let's just throw it all to Scorsese. I can't fucking direct this shit. Hey, man, this is like politics. You're going to cut somebody's head off. No, no, yeah, man, I don't, 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 don't you talk about right <laughs> No, no, I'm talking about the remakes here, No, no that's right. Exactly. Because, <laughs> because they're all fails, obviously. Yeah. And uh, the Ninja Turtles really freaking pisses me yeah. off, man. Yeah, you um, having this poster over here is giving me heartburn because I'm I'm already <laughs> instantly thinking about Master Shredder. Master Shredder. With his, with his fucking, uh, you know, what do they call those? The rooftop here, scene? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, he's referring to, I have a poster of the Ninja Turtles. Uh, uh, part one a uh, movie. On what baby part two? And um, the rooftop scene was so freaking awesome. The music. I mean, oh, and the music. The, yes, the, the everything. I mean, yeah, that's ultra you know, retro <laughs> wave. But. Uh, I was gonna say, were you like, well, I guess maybe impressed or maybe scared when Raphael said "damn" after having that. I was like, "Damn!" Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I, when that happened, I was, I was, at, I was, I was at the like, theaters. Yeah. I was at the theaters. I looked to my mom and my dad like. Are we still in here? And like you guys are not gonna like, score <laughs> yeah. me out because it's like not a like, like, PG told movie. Him, he told them like I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, and all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the funny thing is my mom, so awesome. my mom pretty much custom for me, all, you know, custom oh. for me all the time. So, oh, man. so when I heard "damn," I was kind of like, "Oh well, no, that's terrible." <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it's it's one of those things I'd where say, like my dad um, like it just just yeah. Mommy, I love you, and you know that I that I love you so much. If you hear this, I think she commented on the yeah, Facebook. She probably uh, will. She's like she's like. He, I, he looks fat as shit in that shirt. That's exactly what she said. You know? oh, She's like, I told that motherfucker to go walk. You are sexy. To go walk? How many beers did he drink People tonight? walk in general, well, Chris. The, the, uh, the beers on the table is on Facebook right now. Not me. Well, yeah, I'm Professor that. X in a fucking floating chair, you son of a bitch. You know, I mean... <laughs> with with, Damn, with my special chair. I don't know in a row, Hor- especially look, horrible, horrible bosses, that motherfucker. He's like, you're that motherfucking in the special chair. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like he's he's wheels? He's like fucking wheels. Yeah, we gotta take out wheels. I mean, <laughs> wheels. Yeah, but it's handicap. Yeah, but it's yeah, but he, he's, yeah I'm on him, man. I think he's full of shit. He's lying or some shit like that. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, took that, that I mean, there's a lot of times in that movie I didn't remember that fucking part. Yeah. <laughs> Especially wheels. We he gotta trim the fat yeah. around here. We gotta get rid of wheels. He just wheels. deadpans that shit. Him in, him in that special fucking chair. And he's like, yeah, holy shit, that. what the fuck? Professor Xavier over there. That's fucked up, fucking man. Fucking wheels. Holy shit, that's, that's fucked up, up man. Up. <laughs> now that's how you write a fucking joke right there. Yeah. So I guess uh, oh, it's fair to say that, uh, okay, what would you grade? Uh, maybe out of scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 can we being go, the worst. Can we go by shapes? Shapes like you know triangles and hexagons. Yeah, this and... one's gonna be phallic then. God Fuck damn it. me, man. <laughs> I guess um, that I was guess fake. I didn't more know angles. The the worst. Obtuse. Maybe? So Ooh, I guess start good, off with the circle. That's a good. That well. Oh, da- geez, Bailey. Oh, Bailey's gonna. All right, so one to ten. What um, would you uh, rate? Out of okay. 
one to ten out of ten like what, one to ten out of angles. Right, here's, gotcha. Here's Paul. I, I, well, what? No, no. Come on, give me your, uh, your okay your answer. It's here. like okay. It's like what like Chris is saying too. Like I, I, I like Kristen Wiig and, and M- Melissa McCarthy. I'm one too familiar with the other two. Um, and uh, th- just because it's all women, it's bullshit. Like oh, you hate it. You get know, a massage. Just fuck that. I I really like those two. And I think unfortunately, from what I heard too. They just got a raw deal on that movie, and like, there's a lot of control, like creative control. Like, they um, they're somewhat forced, but Puppets, I, I find, I, I yeah, okay. it wasn't their fault. And really, do, they do have a lot of potential, and they're and they're great. I know, yeah, for sure. But for sure. I'd say five out of ten. Five it's ten. not that good. Rafe, Rafe, that's hard Rafe, for me to do. Rafe, uh, three out of ten. Three out of ten. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh, solid. Um, Pluto Nash. Jesus Pluto Nash. Christ, man. Pluto, that's a new. Damn. Pluto fucking Nash. But that's about good, that. right? Lows. That's good, right? That's, 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 that's right Lows. there. Like, literally, Lows. Eddie right. Murphy has made sure that that name never even comes hey, up. So social justice warriors are after you right <laughs> yeah, now. This, oh, the, <laughs> this movie will be one of the ones that does that. <laughs> for the two-thirds that I, I, I watched, um, I will say a four. A solid four. Thanks a lot, guys. I got the highest fucking rating. <laughs> Maybe feel like a fucking, like... Well, no, no, no. I mean, I don't know. It could have went up, but... I yeah, thought yeah. you yeah. were influenced by the Academy Award winning actor that uh, uh, he coached uh, you. Oh. He coached you on what good acting was. Oh so. right, yeah, because I was intimidated. That's right. So now you're oh, learning. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get killed. That's I'm gonna get to, That's stolen. how you got to five. Yeah. <laughs> Milwaukee drills. You know what's on my mind? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I, I was at work when somebody stole a drill from me. He printed out some hey, of the script random, and y'all did right? reads. Y'all did some reads on that. You know, <laughs> his name is. I'm not gonna say it. But, but he um, robbed me, and he said he loved me. Sorry, Jacob. What a son of a bitch, right? What are, you, I do? are you trying to Are you trying to end this boring <laughs> this this no, this no, this? No, hey, no, 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 I'm no. pouring my heart out here, and you trying to cut me off. Everybody's like, "How the hell did it go from the seriousness of politics? Everything's falling apart." To, Shut up. There's a terrible movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, what the well, hell was that? I don't know, uh, but uh, yeah. I think you do know. <laughs> Ghostbusters, not a, not a rental, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a rental. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, I guess. Hollywood <laughs> video? No? Hollywood oh, video. Man, I, how I miss those Blockbusters and Hollywood video. Oh, yeah, but man. fuck Blockbuster. Fuck. You, know what there's, you know what Blockbuster's uh, video's demise was? Rewind. Be kind, bees. motherfucker. And rewind. Fuck them. <laughs> oh, six dollars for not rewinding. Was it Go that high at one point? Probably. And Jeez. not in inflation. Any of you guys rented inflation. a video system, a uh, 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 game system? Oh, there? Do you remember that when you used to get that big old plastic case? Were you able to? Uh, did you yes. ever do that? Anybody? No, did that? I did. I did. Uh, I did. Cost, you know why? You know? Because when the Nintendo sixty four came out, they didn't have any more, and I, I hadn't bought one. So my mom took me up there, and I remember it was this big plastic yeah, case. You opened it, up, and all the foam in it. And it was just so like. You know how much I run? Like, uh, man, I remember it was it was up there. It was expensive, man. I mean, you, you, you could rent it for a few days and yeah, imagine, it was like, like fifty bucks probably. Uh, it was expensive I think, though. I think it was about like twenty five bucks a, a day because I was a spoiled little bastard. Jesus, man, you know? I was in the nineties probably. Yeah, yeah, I was spoiled, so yeah, I, I, it was like twenty five bucks a day. <laughs> I was, I was for me. Shit, see, you don't, you don't again, get this big I, not being spoiled, brother. This is good living. Yet again, that's another another notch in the fucking dirty belt that fucking Blockbuster had. I did not know that. Fuck them. That's they deserve. Fuck them, man. No. And you're saying, you're probably thinking, oh, what about the people that work at poor Blockbuster? Well, fuck them, too, because they fucking work there. <laughs> They're feeding the beast that, that charge people for a fucking rewind fiend. And not to mention, when new releases was, oh, one one day uh, one day rental. Like, let's say you rent it at fucking 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. oh return times. that shit by 10 a.m. <laughs> or you're fucking fined. <laughs> How is that a run? Oh, oh those those uh, new guys, the like, new rentals yeah, with the, the red the, the, the red yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. when you go there and you're like, oh fuck, fuck, they had bitch. 50 copies of this and there's not a one fucking ready for me. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Damn it, mom! I told you to be up here at three o'clock. <laughs> Damn. Not at six. I'm sorry. It's just for the, the you know what they're fucking business strategies were or whatever the, what it was that the fuck people over well they it, karma if, I don't believe in karma they fucking got no him. well I would say <laughs> that if you were uh, to go back to the rental part of this movie um, make sure that you're like at Walmart and there's that bin of shit movies and then they're just all piled up this is the one that needs to be in a slip at the very very bottom <laughs> and then when you dig for it you're there only because you just need to find a shit movie to watch, and then hopefully it's only fifty cents. Because yeah. there's no way it's that worth you're spending the effort any of your hard earned no, 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 no more than fifty cents. No more than fifty cents. Oh, nice. No more than fifty cents. Yeah, <laughs> which is almost like giving it a five. So there you go. I'm oh, okay. Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm going to redeem you. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 
I, you know, I just don't want to be attacked by, uh, you know, those. Uh, it's okay. Put it, put it this way: Pluto Dust Nash would have higher <laughs> rental rates than Ghostbusters. That made no money, did it? <laughs> I don't think it did. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, Eddie Murphy had plenty to buy those um, haunted matches. Uh, right? Those yeah. Those women of the night on the street that <laughs> might not have been women. right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame the fellow. He's got to do what he's got to do. No, All right. No, no, no. All right. Poor Eddie. Poor well, me. I don't have enough money for that. Those of you that have been listening to us, thank you. If not, oh. thank you anyways. <laughs> if you fell asleep yeah. in the first section... We don't apologize. Sorry. <laughs> we don't apologize. Sorry. Thank um, well, uh, um, this is saying. Gentleman Old Class. I am Jake. I am uh, Paul. Yeah. I'm and Paul. Uh, I'm Raph. And, 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 uh, and before you uh, introduce yourself for the second time again, introduce Chris, uh, or do the outro here. Thank you again, Chris, for coming out, yes. dude. I know. Oh no, thank, thank you, you. Uh, thank you. Awesome. And uh, if I man. could, if I was your lullaby, we, you know, for your sleep in the beginning, then right. I'm hoping just make sure that you didn't run off into a ditch while you were listening to this in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, we 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 apologize for interrupting your uh, uh, Call of Duty session. In your battlefield, um, you know, battlefield <laughs> one, and I was in my underwear. I just came back Thank from the campaign. Was out in the field. I hey, worked hard. As one should be. Thank you. Yeah. I, 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 wanted to, I, I wanted to take the pleasure to say that. You know, man, there were like there were a couple so of rich. couple of sad little hankies that I had to make sure to you cool. know. <laughs> I just, uh, but anyways, no, no. I was happy to be here, and uh, I love all of you. So Thank you know, you, I'm, of course Same I'm here for you too, buddy, man. Thanks for coming. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, I'll wrap it up. Thank you, guys. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep.